There are many highs and lows in life, but one thing's for certain, when you're fishing in the low country of Charleston, South Carolina, that's the high side of life. Low country days start with an early cruise through the marsh and the toss of the net. Simple as it may be, these morning routines never grow old for Captains Jonathan Moss and Christian Cooley, who have shared a skiff many times in the past. This is their first time together in the low country, where they plan to give the fish a run for their money. So sit back and see how it all unfolds as we flip through the pages of the Captain's Log. with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. About time I got up here with you in Charleston. It's been a minute, dude. <laughs> we have fished a bunch of times together, down in the Keys, down in Orlando, Mosquito Lagoon. We've always caught fish together in other places. Now I'm with you in your home waters. Yep, that's right. I'm ready for it. Let's, Let's go catch a redfish, brother. Send it. So this is Bowles Bay right here, and it stretches from Allendorf to basically McClellanville, cool. and it's about a 60,000 acre um, wildlife refuge. So there's not a whole lot of pressure out here. It's really shallow. There's a lot of fish, a lot of bait. Yeah, you see all the bait on the skin right Just now. gotta really know where you're going and spend the time to find them. Looking for them shrimp, man. We're gonna do a bowl tonight. We gotta find some shrimp. That's right. <laughs> We're looking. We just need a couple for a triple tail. Yeah, the shrimp look like that, like where it's like gotcha. blue grass on the bottom. Gotcha. Give it a bump. There we go, there's, there's some, some shrimp. shrimp. Yes, sir. Look at that big boy right yeah. there. <laughs> Good Lord. We gonna have us a boil tonight, boys. Yeah, man, these are gonna be good, not only for the triple tail later, but oh, yeah. for dinner tonight. All right. We stay on them like that, we'll have plenty. That's a perfect triple tail shrimp right there. Oh man, I was gonna save him for some cocktail sauce for later. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, good to be here, dude. Let's stick him. All right, Jonathan, we got a triple tail about 30 yards right in front of us, 12 o'clock. I got it. Just I got to it. the left of the glare. Go ahead and cast past him and bring it right in there in front of him. Bring it in a little bit. Leave it right there. Cool. Oh. Real, 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 real. Got him, got him, got him. Hey bro, good eye. 12 o'clock, 30 yards, first cast, and look at a bruiser. Let me get my net here for you. Take your time, just let him wear out. Take your time. There we go, perfect. Other side of the boat. Yeah, buddy, that's a good one. Here he comes. Yes. Woo, buddy! <laughs> yes! That is what I'm talking about, That's brother. a triple tail. 
first cast of the day. <laughs> Great eyes, Cap, seeing them. Woo! That, my friend, is a fish. <laughs> Jonathan, is that your biggest triple that tail? That is my biggest triple tail so far, brother. How about that one? Man, what a fish. What a fish, What bro. a fish. That, my you friend. You got him? I got him, yeah. That, my friend. <laughs> It is a triple tail. You know, we, we threw the cast net first thing this morning. Well, we, you threw the cast net, got some shrimp, got mainly shrimp. for, we want you to say, let's get some shrimp for the Low Country Bowl tonight. That's right. We save a couple, throw it, some triple tail. And you had the eyes. I mean, we pulled up and you said, John, 30 yards, 12 o'clock, made the cast, and it just, I mean, it it's did perfect, two dude. seconds. It, it couldn't have been a, any better. And just crushed it. That's what a nice thing. fish, brother. Incredible. Incredible fish. Nice fish. All right. You want to put him on some ice? You know what, man? If you want to bring one home for dinner to throw into the bowl tonight, let's do it. I think we should, man. All right, let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Throw him in there. Yes, sir. Gonna make some good eats for later, brother. Nice work, brother. Nice work. Perfect. Awesome. Let's go catch a big redfish now. <laughs> I love the way you do things. <laughs> One and done. One and done, baby. That's it. I love it. <laughs> the Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Danko Pliers, East Cape Boats, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, Skinu, Power Pole, DOA Lures, and Go Castaway Fishing Charters. We're gonna get up here on this edge as this water's coming up on that bar and try to get, get these redfish running up and down this bar right yeah, here. Yeah, we're still a little early too, so still this water's early. gonna come up a little bit. We're in about a foot of water. But these fish, are, they should be in here pretty good. Yeah, I'm looking. I've already seen one bust a shrimp. And we do still have some extra we shrimp some if we need them. Still, yeah. Brother, I got two rods ready to go back here. All right. Let's try these first. All right. Here's this one. I caught you a pelican. <laughs> Check your drag too. Yeah, I did. You want them super tight? Um, I'd go like five, ten feet off the bank. No, I'm at the drags. Oh, no, it don't have to be. There you go. There he is. Good showing, brother. It was your turn. I got the triple tail. He is coming right out the boat. Here, bring them this way, I'll help you out. Nice red fish. Nice red fish. Could you brought them to me a little more green? <laughs> <laughs> you good there? Got him. Good one. Yes, sir. Nice. Hey, man. I got the first one on the triple tail. You got the first red. It was your turn to catch one. Get him unbuttoned. That's about our average size around here, I'd say. Well, that average ain't too bad, my friend. Look how pretty he is. He's a good one. It's a male. I, I can, love the orange fins. I can feel him drumming. Look at there. He's been eating a lot of shrimp, too. See how that tail's blue? All lit up blue. He's got one of those sea lice on mm -hmm. him, too. Get off of there. there you go. Nice. Let's catch All another right. one. Yeah, brother. Thank you, Mr. Redfish. Look here, I'm releasing your fish and you're trying to catch another one. I see how it is. <laughs> He's about ready. There he goes. Gone. Go ahead. There it is.
There he is. Hey, let me get out of your way. You're good. Christian, I don't know what you got over there, but you are putting something stinky extra on that bait. <laughs> <laughs> This is nice fishing with you though for once because you know guiding clients all the time I don't get to fish. I'm always the one putting people on the fish and taking the pictures and definitely a nice change of pace. I got one. Got double. Him? There's our double. There's baby. our double. There we go. There's our double. Let's got some right to the boat. Oh man. Doubling up, brother. Nice. That, my friend, is what it's all about, dude. Right there. This guy's all spotty. Gotta love it. Yeah, this is a good fish. I hear that fish drumming. Yeah. All right. He's a pretty one. Dancing around that trolling motor. Look at this. Land a fish with a fish in my hand. Got him. That, my friend. That is a great morning. Nice. The double. Can't beat it, brother. Awesome, dude. I'm going to get this guy back in the water. Yeah. Get... Got yours gone. There goes mine. Yeah, buddy. Hey, thank you. A wonderful morning. Absolutely, brother. Couldn't have beat that, brother. <laughs> Couldn't have beat that. And now, the conservation challenge with Captain Jonathan Moss. Seagrass is a vital part to any estuary. And running your boat through the seagrass when it's too shallow can cause prop scars. If you ever are exploring new areas or, or you're on Google Maps on your computer, on your phone, you can see, you can visually see the prop scars in the water, in the bottom, through the grass. Now, the prop scars that are there already, pre-existing, uh, from people running through the grass are great places to fish, but we need to be conscientious. We don't want to add to the number of prop scars. And one thing we can do is number one, pay attention to your surroundings. Know what's going on, know your water depth, and know what the bottom looks like. And number two, if it's too shallow, trim up and pull or use your trolling motor through the area. If you're in a pole and troll only zone, please. Take that in consideration. Don't use your motor. There's a reason why it's considered a pull and troll because they're trying to continue the growth, reestablish growth of seagrass. So let's all do our part. Let's think about what we're doing when we're on the flats, how much water depth we have, and let's try to avoid adding new prop scars to our estuaries. So our trout, once they reach about 20 inches, they're about four years old. Yep. And we're trying to do the, local, the community around is trying to, you know, release over 20 is kind of the new hashtag. Yeah, I've, that seen, that. I've seen that on social media. So we're trying to get our big fish population back up. We had a freeze a few years ago that killed a lot of our fish. So they've definitely bounced back. And especially with that release over 20, it's, it's doing a lot better than it has been. Yeah, it is, it is really important, you know, in thinking in terms of conservation and preparing the stock for the future. Right. It is important to let go of those bigger fish so they can produce more. Exactly. Not only that, you know, I want I want my daughter to be able yeah. to come out here and catch fish. Absolutely. I want you to bring your sons up here and catch fish, you know, and we keep keeping them. And if we can have, if more anglers can get that mindset, you know, it's okay to keep, we kept a triple tail today, but reducing the limits instead right. of always going out for your your limit for the day just right. bring enough I'm, home for dinner that night and i'm all about catching fish but it's i'm not i'm not the cut type of guy that's gonna come out here to fill my freezer yep. I'm, yep. I'm gonna be very very particular what i take home it's worth it too it having is. that attitude is worth it got one there you go nice oh man i love popping corks i love you it. know 
it's for me as a good trout when you're a kid and you learn how to fish right and you got a cork out there and you're bluegill fishing right that's what it's nostalgic for me it's that's what it is the same for me man watching that flat go underwater will never get old oh he's a good one too really good fish really good fish brother nice trout she choked it and you know we were just talking about taking care of those bigger fish and that literally the next one we catch is is a thick healthy speckled seed trout I mean, look at the belly on that fish. Yeah, That's a good one. Really great fish. Healthy. See ya. Thanks, pretty girl. How she goes. <laughs> I got another spot. Let's go make a move. Yeah, dude. See if we can get a big one. <laughs> Let's do it, brother. All right. Today's Tackle Box Tip with Captain Jonathan Moss. The popping cork, DOA deadly combo. One of my favorite baits, a bait I've been using since I was a kid. This is a nostalgic bait for me, growing up fishing with my dad, using a cork, catching bluegill, and then transitioning out to saltwater, catching redfish and speckled sea trout on, on a popping cork. Absolutely incredible bait. And here's why I like it. When you pop the rod to create that motion, to engage the lure, that popping cork slides forward and clicks. That clicking sound it sounds very similar to the natural sound that a shrimp makes when it swims. You see, when a shrimp swims, it propels itself by using its tail. It smacks its tail across its body to propel, which is exactly what this clicking sound sounds like. So you pop the popping cork, it makes the click, the shrimp is going to now propel through the water column and begin to sink. So think about that. The click will get the fish's attention, it hears it, and now all of a sudden it sees it dropping and they come up and explode on it. The cork goes under, set the hook, you got a fish. It is an easy, easy lure to use. No matter your age, no matter your experience level, try a popping cork today. I'm trying not to cast over you. You're good. Perfect. And not to throw myself out of the boat too when I'm casting. <laughs> <laughs> See that? Take and go with it. Fish on. Yep. Oh, look at her. Eat right there on the top. Double. Double. I'm fighting one too, but I don't think he's the right kind while he's fighting. Just saw that twitch. Good fish. Take your time with her. Ah, oh, oh. wrong flavor. <laughs> There's a big red fish. All right. All right, bro, I'm coming. I popped that ray off. Come on now, don't let her beat you. <laughs> I'm ready when you are, brother. Take your time. Yeah, man! Yeah, buddy. That's a fish there! <laughs> that! Is a redfish, homie. Oh yeah! Look, look at, that, at that thing. Look at that paddle on that fish. Woo <laughs> Low country bruiser. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well done, my friend. <laughs> well done. Oh. All right, pretty girl. There she go. Look at her happy, curling that tail on me. Sometimes I give it a little tap on the top of the head, and it'll get him going. I ain't never heard that before. Yeah, right. There you go. Yeah. That's a new one for me, dude. <laughs> nice. What a day, brother. What a awesome. day. Awesome. All right. My turn to catch a big one. Let's go. <laughs> the Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss. Presented by Florida Fishing Products. Is sponsored in part by these fine companies.
Got him on. He's on, he's on, he's on, Got he's on. on. There we go. I'll clear this one for you. Good fish, good fish, brother. Start out with a big, big triple tail, mixing it up with some trout, some other redfish, and ending the day, both of us catching some nice big bulls. Hey, don't get much better than that, brother. Yes, awesome, sir. awesome fish. That's a good one. There you go. Nice. A big male. Yes, sir. Give me some of that, brother. <laughs> nice fish. Love it. Love it. Came up and munched on that chunk. <laughs> All right, let's get this one back in the water. Nice work, brother. Gone, dude. Gone. Just like that. What a day. Awesome, brother. Thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, if I want to come and spend time in the low country, this is the time I want to spend. This is how I want to do it. Oh, yeah. Killer day. Awesome, brother. Awesome. Thank Let's you. Let's get out of here. God sure knew what he was doing when he made the low country. It truly is a special place. From sight fishing triple tail to tugging on full reds, the excitement had no end. But like all good days, the sun has to set. And in the low country, that means lighting a fire, boiling some fresh caught shrimp, and reminiscing while enjoying some good old southern hospitality. That's living high in the low country. Good, Sam? <laughs> you okay? Yep, come on. Gone, dude, gone, just like that. What a day. Awesome, brother.